Hello, welcome, welcome back if you're a current subscriber, welcome if you're new. So I have this week's empties and unempties, and we're gonna start off with Sensi. So I already did in my um I did it if I can speak. I already did a video on the Sensi, what do they call this collection? Sense of Wonders. But I just wanted to go over it quickly with you because um just in case you didn't watch that video. So I did but I warm this twice now. Cherry's Jubilee, which is uh, fresh crin. Um, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Where is it? Over here. Black cherry raspberry zesty lemon. I feel like this is almost a fruit punch. It reminds me a little bit of um, Big Hero 6 that I love. So I'm going to grab some more of this because I really did enjoy this warm. It was a great performer for me. So yeah. Another one I really enjoyed was Sleigh Ride, which is Crisp Air Fallen Fur Needles Tart Cranberry. This is a beautiful Christmas berry scent. I really, really enjoyed this. Again, I did this. I can't remember which room I did it in. It's in that other video, but I really did enjoy this. I will get more of this. Okay. Vanilla Barnwood. I did this twice now in my bedroom, I believe. Vanilla Amber Barnwood. I really enjoyed this. It's, it's very interesting on cold versus warm for me. At first, I get more of the vanilla, and then as it warms, I get a rustic wood note almost, but then I get a little bit of, I don't know why, but it reminds me a little bit of vanilla oud on warm. I did enjoy this, but I think it's definitely different um, on cold versus warm. And then a huge hit for me was rum pum plum i did this actually in my open concept i only used half of this this is beautiful if you don't have sweet plum pastry in your club you know i would highly suggest getting this one this is plum jam vanilla flaky buttery crust uh oh, it is so good try this if you want that i do get a crust note like a flaky crust note, almost like a, what are those? Oh, I'm drawing a blank what bakery item I'm thinking of, but not a croissant, but kind of that, but sweeter. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Anyway, with the sweet plum in this, this is fantastic. I this is, think this is my favorite from the collection, which is no surprise because it's bakery. Okay, the least favorite I did, um, I wore this cranberry candy cane. I did this in the laundry room. I really dislike this. It's cranberries, peppermint, and pomegranate. I don't know why, but this, this just something about this is really off when I put it in the warmers. You know, sometimes if you warm a scent, it's it transforms. So always warm something, even if you're not sure, because it does help, right? Um, and I've learned my lesson on that. Like last year it was um Maple rum cake. That on cold does not smell good. You warm that and that transforms. That is in my club. I absolutely love that. Wish they would have brought that back. But nah, this is not a win for me. I don't think that, I don't know. If you love this, let me know again. It's the cranberry candy cane, but I, mm -mm, no. Okay. Then we have the pink awareness, which if you guys saw my community post, um, if you could just pray for my sister, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to distract myself today. So, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Uh, first of all, I have to say on warm, these were all very light. <laughs> and yeah, that's what my biggest complaint is. Honestly, I did these in my bedroom, um, bathroom, laundry room, so small spaces they just were such bad performers and which really makes me sad because i this is the breast cancer awareness now i did not warm turn up the pink this is sparkling citrus gardenia blossom rosewood i didn't like this on cold and it's literally so light i was like i'll see if anyone else warms it loves it maybe i'll send it in a random act of kindness i just couldn't do it i was like this is ridiculous um, I pink I can. I I warm this in my husband's laundry room or in the laundry room in my husband's bathroom. Um, but this has the coconut water, tropical stone fruit, hibiscus. I don't like hibiscus scents. 
So this smell, oh no. This one was an okay performer. I would say probably one of the best, but maybe it's because I didn't like that scent on cold. But I wanted to warm these just to give you my like thoughts, impressions, if that matters to you. Um, and these two were my favorites. Okay, so let's talk about these two. Positively Pink, which is raspberry vanilla and sandalwood. I did four cubes. I enjoy this, but it's not a great performer. I don't, I can't, I don't know how you guys are seeing when these are poured. I cannot see any dates on them. Like I used to on the bars like last year. I think since he's doing that for a reason, so we don't know. Um, but again, I am, people get really upset when you say vendor wax needs to cure, but now we're talking about we need to let Sensi cure. I don't understand that whole concept. These should not have to cure. Um, the last, like when I started Sensi in 2020, these bars were just strong. I feel like the bars can be so light lately. And I'm, I am a Sensi consultant. I'm probably like the worst ever, <laughs> but I'm going to be honest. So I love this, but I really don't know what to do about this. Like, do I get one more and put it and, you know, um, add it to a club? Cause I, you can't get these unless I actually, when I was in my Sensi club, I didn't see them in there unless I'm spacing that out. So I will put here if that's true or not, but if you can only get these in the pack and then you can't add them to your club, then these aren't worth it to me. So I'm just going to be honest. I, I don't know. That's just my opinion on these. Um, pink spreads hope, which has rose in it. This is um, pink parfait rose, violet leafy greens. I really enjoyed this on cold. I did three cubes. And it was so, so, so light. And I did put one in my um, candle crock uh, as well as these three that I are, these two that I warmed in my bedroom. I did add one cube to my candle crock. So I don't really know what to do. And I think, oh yeah, it says products not sold separately. The other thing I'm going to tell you is this is $24, $6 gets donated. I just want you to be aware that I looked at this and on the website, um, pretty much there's a big markup on all of these. So I don't agree with that. Uh, the bulbs are $7 instead of five and they're donating $1.25. So basically you're donating it. Um, you're paying for four bars. That's $6 a bar. That's not a deal. And they were saying it's $24. They donate $6. Well, then again, you basically are donating it to wherever they deem. So look at the prices on this. I don't agree with that. So honestly, I didn't even order the warmer or anything because once I looked at that, I don't agree with that. It, you're a big company. You should not be marking these up to donate them. You should be taking a sell it for the sell it for what it is because normal fragrance flowers are normally sixteen dollars. They're charging you twenty and they're donating four fifty. So again, you are donating that. So I'm just going to say, find someone local to you and send them a gift card, a gas card, a meal, whatever. I, it doesn't really matter. But the point is, is I don't agree with this. You don't mark up products to make more of a profit and then donate the difference. Like, I'm just not a fan of that. And that's my right to say that. So thank goodness in this country, we have freedom of speech, right? So I can say whatever I want to say. So and make no money from Scentsy, which I, again, I don't really care, but that's not why I do or buy Scentsy. Um, I did some pod cider mill. I added this by, um, in my dining room. I can't smell it. Um, I have two of these that I used in my car, blueberry burst, which I absolutely love. And I did order more of this in my, one of my orders just shipped uh, again, since he's really behind on shipping. So I did order this in a sale. Again, it's $7 on the website. I absolutely love this. The scent is in my club. Art to Kiss is another favorite of mine. These were both in my car. These do really well for me in my car. I love those. Okay. Oh, and then I did sugared strawberry. I couldn't smell that one. Um, finished vanilla mint. I told you how much my family and I love the dish soap. This is a favorite of mine. Okay, let's get into bricks. And I don't mean to be so negative about things, but I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just going to be honest and keep it real. And that's how I feel. Okay. So I'm working on Johnny Appleseed Brick. I don't think I'll purchase this again. Um, I just, I don't know. It's not the right apple. 
I don't, is this supposed to be Mac Apple? Cause I don't feel like it's Mac Apple or there's something else in this that I'm not loving. I got this with one of my clubs once and I just think vendor does Apple better. So I did this and my family complained about it. They didn't like it either. So I was like, okay, forget it. Um, Orchard by the Sea, which was one of the spring bricks. This is a apple orchard flourishes beneath sea salt skies with whispers of crisp linens and green mango. This is more of a laundry scent. I did this in my um, bedroom bathroom one day. I didn't mind it. I get apple and I do get linen. It's more of a clean, fresh scent to me. Um, this is going to be enough for a long time for me. It's not in my club, I don't think. Pink apple, apple and nectarine, if I can talk, is in my club. It's pink apple, golden nectarines, wild poppies, and sugar cane. I like this. It's very sweet. Oh, it's so good, though. But it's the wrong time of year. Like, today it's 50 degrees and it's raining. So I'm just going to put away my scents like this from now on. But we had a couple days that were, like, 80 degrees. So I pulled out some of those scents. But now smelling it right now, I'm like, yeah, it's definitely not for right now. All right, let's do empties. I got so many. Okay, I finished another one of uh, Snow White Kind Heart. I really like this. Lily of the Valley, Smooth Vanilla, um, Apple, and Sandalwood. This is just pretty for me. I know some of you guys get it off note. I don't, thank goodness. So this is in my club. Love it. I finished Red Current Wreath. This is from the current catalog. I don't like this. I did this in my husband's bathroom and laundry room. It's Red Current Winter Berries, Evergreen, Sandalwood. I won't repurchase that one. Hemingway. I was warming some of these to decide what to keep in my club. This is apples, um, sandalwoods, hints of spice. I think I'm going to still keep this in my club. I do like this apple scent. I think it's unique, so I think I'll keep it there. Rustic Lodge, I did in my husband's bathroom and laundry room. Cedar, musk, wood, and fallen leaves. I like this one. It's, I really do. It's a little masculine, but I shouldn't say it like that. I feel like this is like you're sitting by the fire and you have your uh, nice cozy sweater on. It's just a very lovely scent. It, it literally reminds me of like being rustic. Okay, um, banana berry. This I've had this for so long. I think this was 2020 when it was going to bring back my bar. I have one more, I think, of this. But I'm working on all of these older clams. I do enjoy that one. Uh, Snuggle Up. I finished this, like, like I think I did this three times this week. I, I have a Scentsy Element Warmer, the Pumpkin Element Warmer, you guys. I know it's sold out now, which sucks for you if you didn't get it. But if you saw my last Scentsy haul, I did buy that. From the harvest collection uh that has been performing great in my bedroom like when i get home from work i turn it on because i put on my eye mask because i'm working nights and then i need to sleep so i've been putting this in a, like three times i think i did it this last couple weeks and it performed really well with that pumpkin i know elizabeth from elizabeth scenes and scents said the same thing when i hauled it so thank you elizabeth for telling me because i was like a little worried but i have been loving having it in my bedroom and not having a light on Okay, I do have more empties. Okay, I got through a lot, I told you. Okay, I finished Midnight Mahogany in my husband's bathroom laundry room. I don't like this. This is from the current catalog. Plum, cinnamon, mahogany. I just don't like mahogany. That's just my personal preference. Okay, sips of cider. I don't know if this is in the current catalog. I don't have a catalog by me. I think it is. This is good if you like a cider scent because it's very strong. I have this going right now on day two in my open concept. I was thinking there's no way this is going to perform, but this is so strong. This bar is from last year. And wow, is this a powerhouse. So if you like these kind of cider scents, I don't know what the scent notes are. You would enjoy that. It's so strong. Autumn Stroll from the, uh, I don't remember when this was January's Bring Back My Bar. Cinnamon Plum Wood Incense. Again, a little bit on the masculine side, but I'm going to keep this in my club because I did this in my husband's bathroom and laundry room and they really enjoyed that one. So breakfast in bed is 
um, pumpkin pastry, black raspberry top with sweet cinnamon drizzle. Can you explain to me why Sensi got rid of this? This is in my club. I got this in May from my club. Oh, this is so good. Again, I don't know why they got rid of this one. It just, I don't know. Okay, and then we have Woodland Suede. I have the set notes on here, but I can't. It's uh, Woodland, Wonderland, Oak, Cedar. I can't read what else is in here. This is really a lovely fall winter scent. I enjoy this. It's in my club. Almond croissant. I wish this was in my club. This is um, croissant made with cinnamon and almond. This is so strong. I did this in my entryway and I like so strong. But does this remind you? I can't decide if Stroop Waffle Delight or this reminds me of pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body. I don't have that but man is a strong like literally two cubes in my open concept and it just blew me away i was warming breakfast in bed in my open concept and i could smell that coming into like my open concept hemingway i did this in my husband's bathroom um this is oh did i already do one of these two i might have i thought yeah maybe i did maybe this one i did in my open concept then because i must have finished that and then used a cube out of this Okay, two that are current. Um, now, this was from the Sensepirations Candy Cane Buttercream. So, this is when they did the buttercream launch. So, this is Peppermint Candy Cane Vanilla and uh, Buttercream. I did two cubes. Again, when I'm sleeping during the day, I like to put in a minty scent. And this is one that I did. I enjoy this very much. And that is in the current catalog. And then Velvet Moon. I absolutely love this. I did this in my candle crock in my bedroom. It was so strong. Vanilla Flower white musk, and fog, uh, behind a silky layer of foggy mist. The, I don't, if, even if you don't like florals, like I guess last year I maybe started liking florals because I love this. This is just fantastic. If you haven't tried this, this is a Scentsy win in the current catalog. I absolutely love this. So, okay, I'm going to see how many minutes we're at in this video. Um, if it's pretty long, I'm going to separate this into two, Scentsy and Vendor. I just wanted to say thank you all for um, commenting on my videos and my posts that I um, recently posted about. Um, please look out for my community tab. I do post quite a bit on there just with life updates and just sharing other YouTubers' channels there. I just want to really encourage and lift up others in the community. And I just want to say thank you for the prayers for my sister. My sister's name is Joyelle, if I've not shared that with you. Um, if you could just continue to pray for her, I would really appreciate that. And thank you for allowing me to distract myself today. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day.